Hello everyone, um, I'm very glad uh, to see you all tonight. Although I'm very far away physically, my uh, feelings and, uh, and emotions are together with you guys tonight. Thank you very much for coming to see the paintings. I'm very happy to uh, be represented by this gallery, a fantastic gallery with amazing artists surrounding uh, or around me. And uh, again, thanks a lot for your uh, uh, visit and coming to this gallery. Sipori is uh, an old village up north of Israel um, with its new name. I called, uh, actually, I call the series Biblical Landscape. The landscape itself inspired me tremendously because of its own, um, I would say, untouched zones by humans. It looked like you stepped into, uh, went back in time in certain areas where uh, humans were not actually there in one, one way. The other way I saw some remains of old ancients, uh, ancients um, um, sediments uh, existed for many, many years there. And um, the wild, untouched area inspired me to start this new group of paintings. Using the old technique um, I learned from Professor Ernst Fuchs in Vienna, um, meaning glazing the painting, I worked with different materials in order to achieve the effect of uh, layers, uh, which actually allowed me to um, uh, pick up the subject matter called cypress, for instance, or pine trees, and uh, paint with layers upon layers the texture to achieve the, the light, the pigments, and the, um, and the uh, volume of colors was uh, a tremendous experience using those uh, techniques again in Europe back then. The style I'm using, or the or the path of um, of um, um, way of painting, evokes from um, a um, a stream in the fantastic realism school called Magic Realism, established in the early 20s in Europe. And um, one of my inspiration, uh, who actually wrote about those subject matters, was uh, the Argentinian author Jorge Borges who um, um, tremend who in a very uh, significant way um, describing from a very close point of view the enhance and the, the, the strength of this new realism called magic realism. So in my own, uh, in my own way, <clears throat> I uh, seeing my dreams, this reality changing. And uh, for something very basic, uh, realistic, a uh, sabre or flower or a tree, uh, I managed to change it to something that contains uh, more colors, more vivid and strong colors. The shapes are changing, the forms are changing. I've always keep the original shape, but add through the process different dreams, thoughts, and ideas, which actually portray the final result of what uh, I call magic realism. In my uh, studio years, I always used to uh, uh, paint either from uh, a model in the studio or taking uh, some old newspapers, magazines, or photographs I used to take myself. Uh, in this particular series, uh, Biblical Landscapes, I uh, decided to leave the studio, go out there, be in nature, surrounded by this incredible, uh, uh, confusing, perfect environment, uh, which almost is like a, a futile process to work with because it's so perfect, um, asking myself, 
is it possible really to copy or to um, um, acknowledge this fantastic landscape? I, uh, in my own way, which is the uh, magic uh, realism path, decided to uh, uh, transfer these feelings and uh, those emotions and uh, ideas uh, on my new series called uh, Biblical Landscape. I would like to talk a little bit about this painting behind me, where it's actually the final result of the process going outdoor, draw over there on small panels or pads with watercolors, pencils, um, pans, different pans, and then return back to the studio looking at the uh, results, uh, sometimes not even being happy so much about it, sometimes being happy and more satisfied, and enlarge it on large canvases like this. Um, it's almost like projecting those images from the sketches on this big canvas. Um, so it's act it contains and, and remind us a little bit of this photo approach. It's, a, it's a, almost like a photo painting, but it's not actually a, a, a photo painting, um, where you can see the images presented the way I actually drew it from my life uh, approach to from being there in the, in the area and draw the uh, landscape or those elements. And um, it could only be done in the studio and not outdoor because of its size and the special technique used upon the surface. Mm -hmm.